Normally, I do Killer Wave Volcano Eruption updates about twice a month, unless something drastic happens. Between 1500 and 1800 hours on the 20th of September 2022, there were over 80 earthquakes that were recorded at the summit of Killer Wave Volcano. Most of them were clustered at the southern edge of the caldera right here, directly south of Hale Maumau Crater, and there are some that are just north of Hale Maumau Crater as well. However, the earthquakes are generally on the western part of Kilauea Caldera. The following day, up until this morning, there were about 20 more earthquakes, so the earthquakes have slowed down a bit. Starting in the late afternoon of the 20th of September 2022, up until the 22nd of September 2022, as of this writing, numerous breakouts of lava have been occurring on the northern and the western part of Hale Maumau Crater. Here is a large breakout of lava taking place on the western part of Hale Maumau Crater. This webcam facing towards the north shows numerous large breakouts of lava on the north and the western part of the crater from the 21st to the 22nd of September and it, it is continuing as of this writing. The thermal cam also shows the breakouts more clearly. Starting in the afternoon of the 20th of September 2022, the active part of the lava lake surface has dropped by 33 feet or about 10 meters. And you're going to see that right here. In addition to the abrupt drop of the surface of the lava lake, Parts of the crater floor have dropped by several meters in under three hours. The numerous breakouts of lava have actually coincided with the drop of the crater floor as well. It is possible that the subsidence of the crater floor created weak points on the northern and western margins of the crater floor, thus making it easier for lava to reach the surface. Sulfur dioxide emissions also dropped to 1,055 tons per day. The two-day Tilt meter located at Ue Kahuna recorded a 12 microradian increase of inflation within minutes. And here you can actually see the sharp increase. Here it is again on the weekly tilt meter. Also, tilt has remained flat over the last two days. Check out the sharp increase on the monthly graph. Tilt meters use microradians to measure tilt angle of the volcano. It's basically an angular measurement. One microradian is equal to one millionth of a radian. One radian is equal to a 57.295 degree angle. One microradian is equal to six ten thousandths of a degree. To put this angle into perspective, place a sheet of paper 10 meters in front of you and place the end of a 10 meter board on top of the paper with the beginning of the board starting in front of you. The thickness of the sheet of paper creates the angle of one microradian. The highest inflation is taking place here recorded by the Ue Kahuna tilt meter, with the lowest inflation recorded here at 1.5 microradians. Most of the earthquakes are taking place 1 to 2 kilometers underneath Hale Maumau. Is it possible that magma is migrating to different areas underneath the summit of Kilauea Caldera? Nobody knows. Stay tuned for more updates. And thank you.